Hey guys, it's Kay and I just wanted to um, share with you today some of the tips and tricks and things like that that I've kind of learned about how to take care of and maintain your wigs, things I've learned along the way. Um, today I am wearing, this is actually a custom made wig that I got from Etsy.com and the shop name that I got it from was called Hair 123 um, I basically picked out the color and the cut and you know what kind of cap I wanted and stuff like that and they um, brought it to life for me. Um, this isn't a color number four and then it's got highlights of I believe a 30 so kind of coppery colored highlights in there. Um, I love this wig. It's a human hair blend um, and what I love about it is I love human hair blended wigs probably the best out of anything else because synthetic wigs seem like over time they just get really frizzy and kind of unmanageable and it seems like they're impossible to tame. Um, human hair wigs require a lot of maintenance and a lot of care and a lot of attention and I don't always have that kind of time to, you know, to do that. Um, so what I wanted to show you today are just some of the tools that I use and some of the products that I can't live without um, and some styling tips as well. Um, anytime you have a synthetic or a human hair blended wig, um, these can be styled very easily using heat. Um, so for example, say you just washed your wig and maybe you go to put it on and it's just not falling the right way. It's not, you know, or you got a piece of hair that's, you know, just not doing what you want it to do or, or something like that. Um, that can all be fixed just using a hair dryer. Um, what you do to get your hair to, you know, sit a different direction or whatever, you know, whatever your goal is to do. Um, put your, of course, on heat safe only hair. Take your hair dryer, put it on the highest heat setting. Get the hair nice and hot. And then what you'll do is hold it in place and then turn on the coldest setting on your hair dryer and also use the, I guess it's a cold shock button. Uh, use that and then completely cool off your hair to set that style. That's my cat, Bear. Um, so let me kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So for example, see how my the front of my hair is, you know, it's sticking straight up right there. So say I wanted to part it over to this side. Right now it would look a little silly. Um, so what I would do is I would take my hair dryer. I'm going to turn it on the hottest setting and I'm going to get the hair nice and hot. So let me show you how to do this here. And I don't turn the air all the way on high or anything like that. So I'm just going to get it nice and hot. Now I'm going to cool it off. you can see that it's laying just right so um, you know now I can walk out of the house and it's it's sitting nice and flat the way I needed it to and I don't have you know all this hair sticking straight up um, so that's kind of how you do that now you can do the reverse as well so if I want to part it to this side and now I've got that goofy you know standing straight up right here so again I'm gonna take it turn on my high heat I'm going to pull it off. And now I can part it to this side. Um, you can do the same thing too if you want it to have some lift. So for example, a lot I feel like I spend half my day just going like this when I'm at work. Um, so sometimes, see, it's going all over the place now. So now I can kind of take, you know, a section if I want to like this. And say I just want to do this. And now I can kind of 
you can see how it shapes like it takes that shape of going just straight back um, but those are some tips you know tips and tricks and things like that that you can use to get your wig to lay right now I don't know how I want it to lay so it looks a little bit silly but um, but using heat that can definitely help you train the hair to go the direction you want it to and it's completely reversible you can flip it this way today and then flip it the reverse way tomorrow and it's not gonna hurt your hair any um, one brush that I love to use is one that's like this it's just a wide bristle goodie hairbrush that I got at Target um, I would never use this to brush a curly wig um, or really even a wavy wig but on my straight wigs it does a really nice job of you know just getting it to look fresh um, this is probably my favorite brush um, so yeah get yourself one of these it was like four dollars or something stupid the other thing that I can't live without is my rat tail comb um, as you can see I have I've got a little bit of a widow's peak um, and when you have a widow's peak it seems like it's so hard to figure out where to get your wig to lay because do you put it behind it do you put it in front of it what do you do with it um, my widow's peak comes down pretty far I have like no forehead um, so if, as you can see if I were to pull my wig all the way down and cover my widow's peak my wig is gonna come down to about here and that looks pretty stupid so what I do is I put on my wig cap I use my rat tail comb to tuck all the hair up in there and then I will put my wig on and I set my wig cap in my wig just behind my widow's peak and then I'll take my rat tail comb and just sort of pull that hair down there um, I don't have a lot of hair left on my widow's peak that's kind of pretty much it right here um, but I'll bring this down I run my straightener through it I also use my rat tail comb to kind of pull out my baby hairs so on the edges like this you know kind of pull them out like that and um, excuse the fact that I have like gaps and everything now because this wig's been on my head since like six o'clock this morning um, so we're going on 13 hours here but um so I'll, I'll, I'll pull my baby hairs out and I'll pull out my you know my bangs for my widow's peak using that um, and then what I do is to kind of blend because my hair is not exactly the same color as this wig so um, I'll get just a cheap you know cover girl or, or you know, whatever um, eyeshadow eyeshadow is great for this by the way because um, you can get it in so many different colors but I will take my eyeshadow and I kind of fill in my widow's peak to make it look a little bit thicker and then I also take it and you can't tell I did it now but I'll go down the edges where my wig sits and over my baby hairs to make them the same color as my wig hair and then um, when it's fresh you, you can't even tell that this is a wig I mean it blends right in with my edges and my widow's peak and it looks fabulous um, so anyways that's kind of how I that's how I do that I blend it all together just using some simple eyeshadow um, one thing that I have come to discover in um, um, some products that I use are for my human hair blended or my completely synthetic wigs uh, for my straighter ones or my wavy ones when you start getting some wear into them and you know maybe they're getting a little bit older um, and you start getting that horrible frizz a lot of people's solution is to start trimming the ends off don't do that um, get yourself some Pantene um, it's just like a leave-in conditioner detangler spray you can get it at Walmart or Target or whatever put a couple sprays of this in run your brush through it let it dry a little bit and that frizz will be completely gone um, work it into the ends really well sometimes it helps to take a straightener and just kind of go over your ends that will get rid of your frizz um, and then just use your leave-in conditioner spray and voila it will be amazing again if I had a wig that was in that kind of shape I would go ahead and do a tutorial on how to do that but right now I really don't have anything um, this again I would only use it for my straight or my you know kind of loose wavy wigs for wigs that have like kinky curls in them because I do have a couple of those I prefer to use the John Frieda Frizzies um, leave-in conditioner this stuff is a little bit more oily so what it'll do is it helps to separate the curls um, and, and make it look you know almost like it did out of the box but it helps to kind of organize them again and get them to calm down a little bit and get rid of all those flyaways and all the um, all the frizzy you know um, sections and things like that uh, sorry I keep messing with my hair I messed with you know how it was laying and now it's not laying the right way um, but anyways yeah that's what I would prefer to use on my more curly or kinky curly wigs 
Um, aside from that, those are my must have everyday tools uh, to maintain and take care of my wigs. So hopefully this helped you guys out and kind of, um, you know, gave you some new uh, tricks that you can try on your wigs. Let me know how it works for you or if you discover something that works better. Um, definitely feel free to leave that in the comments below. And if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.